welcome everybody to my latest video this is going to be a collection vid so yeah not my usual gaming pickups cds or cx trading or anything like that this is going to be my blu-ray collection uh, so yeah i've got quite a few i used to be heavily into collecting dvds but decided to get rid of them all and uh, yeah i got heavily into collecting blu-rays most of them i found out in the wild in car boots charity shops uh, yeah it's all about budget collecting for me uh, I, i've bought the odd thing from ebay and obviously through cx trade uh, but yeah i'll get started because i'm not sure how long this video is going to go on for so i'll get started with these 4k that i picked up quite recently for a pound each at the car boot i know 4k for a pound at the car boot was pretty decent so yeah i'll start with these so you've got the revenant i'm not going to talk too much about them because like i say there's a few to go through but yeah fantastic film really enjoyed that Alien Covenant, The Martian, enjoyed that as well. Uh, Star Trek Into Darkness, still not watched that one. Not a big Star Trek fan. And Independence Day, great film. So we'll start with those. And then I'll just start going through a few of these. So we've got American History X. That's a really good film. Aquaman, I quite enjoyed that. I thought it was okay. Birds of Prey. I couldn't wait for this to finish. I thought it was pretty terrible. Um, yeah, I think it didn't get very good reviews when it came out, but uh, I can see why. It just went on for ages, and it, it must have been about half an hour, forty minutes left. I was just thinking, just, just finish, just finish. Um, but I had to watch it just to, uh, just to say that I did really. Yeah, but not very good. <clears throat> Gemini Man. I thought this was okay. Uh, yeah, quite a good action film. Uh, brilliant film this no country for old men fantastic film if you're not in that uh yeah i should just suggest you uh to get it it's brilliant uh, robocop the remake one Have a few more 44 inch chest ray winston film uh steve mcqueen bullet fantastic film still sealed but i've seen it a number of times Venom, a uh, pretty good film. Ant Man, quite enjoyed that. Oh, I got another copy of The Martian, I didn't realise that. So, <clears throat> oh, sorry, that's just the um, that's just a normal standard Blu ray, isn't it? I've got the 4K, so yeah, I could get rid of that now. Lion King, Jungle Book. Fantastic Beasts, second one, actually I've not seen it yet, still not watched this, Black Panther, I need to get round to uh, to watching that, I'll put that one to one side, get round to watching that, I'm actually in isolation at the moment because I caught Covid, um, yeah, no, I haven't had too bad of symptoms, I haven't had a bad cough, bit of a dry throat but not a bad cough, and I haven't had a bad cold but I've, um, yeah, I've had no energy, totally zapped, lost my taste, lost my smell, but I'm on the other side of it now. I'm slowly getting a bit better. Uh, that's why there's quite a few videos coming out recently. But um, anyway, get back to it. Uh, Midnight Special. <clears throat> Let's grab a few more. Blade Runner 2049. I thought it was okay. Uh, back to the Future Trilogy. It's got a torn uh, slipcase, which is a bit of a shame. But it's um, it's a signed copy. Found this at a car boot. I think it was like a pound, one fifty, something like that. Um, yeah, it's signed by the uh, the actor who played Mr. Strickland, the headmaster, the principal of the school. I think it's Mr. Strickland. Yeah. Anyway, it's signed by him, James Token, is it or something? James Tolan, Token. I'm not sure, but yeah, that's pretty cool to find a signed copy. Jurassic World, Thor, Aladdin, still not watched that yet, Batman, Gotham, Knight, Ant-Man and the Wasp, I thought that was really good, Doctor Strange, enjoyed that as well. Star Wars Rogue One, I'm not a big Star Wars fan. 
and Solo, not watched them. Uh, Stash House, not watched that one. There's a couple here I've not watched, still not watched this one. End of Watch, is it? End of Watch. Godzilla. Fantastic, this is England. Uh, one that I've been meaning to watch. Um, all is lost. I'll put that in my pile to watch because I want to watch that one. Uh, Constantine. Last house on the, on the left. Joker. Still not got around to watching that one. That'll go in my pile to watch over the next few days. Captain Marvel. Bloodshot. Vin Diesel. And then we've got the Expendables Steelbook, the Expendables 2 Steelbook, and Expendables 3, just a normal standard copy. We've got Superman uh, 5 film collection. <clears throat> so you've got uh, Superman the movie, Superman 2, Superman 3, Superman 4, Quest for Peace, and Superman Returns. <clears throat> I think that was like £2 from the car boot. I think it's where I got the 4K from. Same stall. Not watched this one yet. Red Hill. 22 Bullets. Not seen that yet. That's going my watch park. So I want to watch that one. Uh, X Men Dark Phoenix. <clears throat> the Commuter. The remake Karate Kid. I'm not a big fan of. Beowulf and Angels and Demons. Okay, I'll be back in a second with some more. We've got some Tarantino films, got Reservoir Dogs, it's the limited collector's edition, and it's uh, got the petrol can style. Inside, there's like book of matches, I think, and a few of the bits. Pretty cool. Pulp Fiction. Kill Bill 1 and 2 Glorious Bastards not one of my favourites I'm not a big fan of um, subtitles in films I like to stick a film on and just relax and not have to think too hard and so subtitles seem to put me off a little bit I know there's some really great films with subtitles but yeah they're not my sort of favourite films and there's a lot in that one so not one of my favourites I really enjoyed Django Unchained. It was good. Hate Flight's probably one of my favourites. I really like Westerns. And uh, yeah, some good twists in this one. So I enjoyed that one. And Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Some funny moments in that one as well. Moving on to a few others. We've got Harry Brown. Good revenge film with uh, Michael Caine. And it's actually my sister-in-law's brother uh, who co-produced this. Uh, he also did uh, co-produced uh, Dog Soldiers as well. Um, so maybe if I meet up with him in the future, I'll get him to sign a few bits for me. He may need to do that for a while. Uh, Platoon. I love war films. And uh, yeah, there's not many films where I sort of well up and uh, a tear comes to my eye. But the scene where Barnes leaves uh, Elias for dead, basically, and... Uh, and they're all shooting him down and he's running. That scene there really, really gets to me. Yeah, yeah, it's a um, great film. Brilliant film. Watched it so many times. And you've got the Arrow release of Hellraiser 1, 2 and 3. Picked that up quite recently. Cost me a few pounds. We trade Mean Guns. Cost for Lambert and Ice T. Cliffhanger. Classic Stallone film. Kung Fu Killer, not watched that one yet. I watched The Kidnapping, not, not seen that. Yeah, this was quite a good sort of mob film. Kill the Irishman, really enjoyed that. Black Hawk Down, another great film. Uh, Football Factory, I've actually got the DVD copy signed by Danny Dyer. My dad was working on a film, uh, helping working on a film as a driver and stuff. And uh, yeah, uh, Gillian Anderson signed... Uh, a VHS for me and Danny Dyer 
uh, Simon the Football Factory and another film, DVDs. Anyway, um, Taxi Driver, classic uh, De Niro film. Mad Max Fury Road. Really enjoyed that, actually. Departed. Quite a good Scorsese film. Shawshank Redemption. Uh, yeah, just a classic. I think everybody knows about that. Just till dawn. I like the fact that in this, the story's going one way, as in the kidnapping, and it just totally spins around into, it's almost like two separate films. Um, Alien Anthology. So you got the first four films. Owner versus Predator. Still need to get the second one. Prometheus. Alien Covenant. I uh, might get rid of this now. I've got the 4K version. And Time Cop. A few more. Rampage. I thought this was quite a good action film. Uh, Kong Skull Island. I know a lot of people like to hate this one, but I prefer it over the Peter Jackson one. I mean, Peter Jackson one really was more of a love story, wasn't it? And... Um, yeah, there is some good action in that one, but it just it just goes on for too long that film. Where this is straight to the point, you know, not too long of a film, all action. Um, so it's okay. It's <clears throat> it's not that bad. I know people like to hate it, but I think it's okay. Um, I've tried to get into this film so many times. I just I just can't. I just uh, it's one I'd like to like and love, but um, yeah, space obviously. It's just. Uh, I don't know, I find it a little bit boring. I know it's a classic, but um, Sin City 1 and 2, Fight Club, and then you've got Equalizer and Equalizer 2, great Denzel Washington films. Uh, I thought the first one was probably the better out of the two. French Connection, great Gene Hackman film, Exterminator. Uh, good, I think it's 80s, sort of like cheesy action. Uh, it's an arrow release. Straight out of Compton, yeah, quite enjoyed that story. You know, uh, NWA, Dr. Dre, Easy, -E and uh, and all that. Great film, Captain Phillips. It's Tom Hanks at his best, isn't it? Really. And then you've got the Predator, the full movie collection. So you've got one, two, Predators and the Predator. Uh, a lot of people like to hate the lighter ones, especially the Predator, but I thought it was okay. Schwarzenegger's uh, classic Terminator 2 Judgment Day. And uh, the Quiet Ones. Yeah, back in a sec. We've got Collateral Damage, Schwarzenegger. Spider-Man 3, Sweeney Todd Steelbook, Forbidden Kingdom, quite a good action sort of kung fu film that, and you've got the Ultimate Bond Collection, the first three films, and then you've got Jason Bourne, Toy Story 1 and 2, and you've got The Hobbit 1, uh, all three films of The Hobbit, Blade Runner, Final Cut, great film, another good film, Beetlejuice, yeah, the shrunken head guy is the best bit of the film, if you ask me. Um, Ultraviolet. Flags for Our Fathers. I think this is a um, yeah, Clint Eastwood film. Negotiator. Imperium. Daniel Radcliffe film. Cop Car. I thought this was quite good. Afro Samurai Resurrection, uh, Jason Statham's Mechanic, 
I thought the Charles Bronson ones were better. But, um, uh, Riddick. Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Rise of the Planet of the Apes. More of the Planet of the Apes. Outlaw. Classic uh, Schwarzenegger's Commando. He gets about 5,000 bullets shot at him. And uh, yeah. Somehow he didn't get killed. I'm not sure how that worked. But you know. Schwarzenegger on it. <laughs> Eye in the Sky. Jurassic Park. 3D. Monster Wolf. Not seen that one. Ratatouille. Man from Uncle. Firing through these a bit quicker now because trying to get through them. Um, Robin Hood and Gladiator. Double pack. Uh, yeah. Prince of Persia. Still not watched that yet. Uh, the Rise of Fall of a White Collar Hooligan 1 and 2. The Take. Remake Pet Cemetery. Serenity. Some more. Wisnell and I. A good film. Good British film. Don't Breathe. Quite enjoyed that as well. I thought it was pretty good. And you've got the Planet Earth box set. Creed. Legend. Psycho. Natural Born Killers. A good uh, Woody Allison film. Gangs in New York. The Scorsese film, John Wick 2. That's the only John Wick film I got on Blu ray. Um, a couple of steel books, yep, Boys in the Hood, limited edition steel book. This is pretty cool. Yeah, I got it from CEX ages ago, a few years ago. Um, one of my fa favourite films of all time, Blues in the Hood. Um, yeah, so really happy to uh, to own that. And also a still book of gang related, one of Tupac's last films. Uh, it plays a crooked cop. Uh, yeah, underrated uh, actor, and I think he would have gone on to big things if he'd have been still alive. Tupac he made some uh, some good films when he was alive. And then you've got uh, Rambo, First Blood, which is called First Blood, isn't it? Yeah. And then you've got First Blood Part 2, Rambo, First Blood Part 2, and Part 3. And the fourth in the franchise, which is called Rambo. Uh, I think the first... First, my favorite, definitely my favorite. Midnight Express, pretty decent film, really enjoyed that. Two pack, all eyes on me. Uh, yeah, I thought they could have done a better job, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, went the best, but um, it's okay. Great film, Man on Fire. Excellent film. If you've not seen that, I say go and watch that. And then I've got Superman the movie. I suppose I don't need that. That now I've got that box set. Uh, this is quite a good film. Drag Me to Hell. Sam Raimi film. Um, it's got that Evil Dead sort of comedy factor to it a little bit, uh, and a bit you know, good bit of uh, horror to it. So, yeah, if you're a fan of the Evil Dead and you've not seen this one, Drag Me, Drag Me to Hell. Uh, yeah, it's quite good. The Raid 2, excellent um, action film. Robocop. Lucy, quite enjoyed that. I thought it was quite good. Scarlett Johansson. 
Brooklyn's Finest. Uh, enjoyed that. Really good film. Like it says from the director of Training Day. And Training Day is a brilliant film. St George's Day. This is really good British uh, sort of... Um, uh, what you call it? Underworld. British underworld sort of... Um, thug sort of thing. I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's good. It's a good film anyway. Braveheart. Classic. Braveheart. Grab some more, getting down to the last pile now. Train spotting, uh, yeah, ground, groundbreaking uh, film. Buried, very interesting film. Uh, it's just filmed, um, just just one clip of just someone in a coffin. That's all the film is. Uh, Ghostbusters, everybody knows Ghostbusters. Columbia. Uh, Forrest Gump, <laughs> fantastic film, I love Forrest Gump, Angel Heart, it's one you don't see around very often, quite a young, um, a younger Mickey Rourke, De Niro, Liar Cake, a uh, great film as well, Two Pack Lives Live at the House of Blues, and uh, yes, yeah, surprisingly the, uh, the Two Pack set's not that good, but the Snoop and the Dog Pound is, uh, is a really good set. Dead Man Running, 50 Cent and um, Danny Dyer. Uh, yeah, good uh, good film, really good film that. If you like stuff like The Business, uh, you'll probably like that sort of film. Blow, great uh, Johnny Depp film. Getting down to the last few now, Notorious. Uh, story of a notorious B.I.G. Biggie Smalls. It was okay. Classic, which is Clockwork Orange. Yeah. So I'm not too bothered about Space Odyssey 2001, but yeah, Clockwork Orange, fantastic film. Absolutely fantastic. The Thing, I think this is the remake one, but the John Carpenter one, that's a really good one. Wolf Creek, great, great films. Shifty, good, another urban sort of British film. Oh, this is a fantastic film. The score, yeah. If you like your sort of twists and uh, action and sort of plots and twists, this is a this is a good one if you've not seen that one. Summerstown, it's just a drama. It's got the kid out of uh, This Is England in it. Uh, it's a Shane Meadows film. We've done This Is England. Unstoppable. Uh, Bronson, uh, yeah, another, uh, another good film, Tom Hardy, seems to be everywhere, doesn't he, Tom Hardy, but yeah, Bronson, the infamous uh, prisoner, um, yeah, good film, oh, last few, 30 Days a Night, probably one of my favourite vampire films of all time, uh, it's just a, just a great film, Moment Iron Fists, uh, Riz Rizzo from the Wu-Tang Clan is in that. Uh, so uh, Russell Crowe as well. Good stoner film, uh, Pineapple Express. Rock and Roller, another good um, Guy Ritchie film. Uh, this is really good Angelina Jolie film. Good action, salt, just action non-stop. More for Wall Street. And the last one is Rocky Balboa, not one of my favourite ones out of the Rocky films. Did find it a little bit boring, but you know, that's how the story went and they uh, sort of tied it up nicely, I suppose. But yeah, not one of my favourites. So yeah, that is it. That is all my uh, Blu-rays I have in my collection, quite a few. I'm sure this video has gone on for long enough. So like I always say, everybody stay safe, take it easy. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.